Hi, this is Doug Goldstein from Profile Investment Services here in Jerusalem. Although I mostly spend my time helping people who live in Israel handle their U.S. investment accounts, I like to put together these four-minute money episodes to teach one financial planning idea. I hope you get a great takeaway. If you have any specific questions about the takeaway or what I'm teaching or really anything to do with your U.S. investment accounts, feel free to get in touch with me. You can check out my website at profile-financial.com. Hope you find this four-minute money episode valuable. Believe it or not, a stock's price doesn't actually matter. Hi, I'm Doug Goldstein. I'm the director of Profile Investment Services. I help people who live in Israel handle their U.S. investment accounts. So today's topic is why a stock's price doesn't matter. There are many factors to consider before buying a stock, but the sticker price shouldn't be one of them. I, I think this joke will illustrate why. There's this market analyst who walks into a pizzeria and orders a pizza. When the pie is ready, he's asked, should I cut it into eight or 16 pieces? The analyst replies, I'm starving. You better cut it into 16 pieces. In both cases, the analyst is going to eat the same amount of pizza, so it doesn't really matter how many slices he has. The total amount remains the same. Similarly, a company can choose to issue eight shares or let's say 16. If they issue eight, each one represents a greater portion of the company than if they issue 16. If company A issues 10 shares at $10 each and company B issues four shares at $25 each, the higher price does not mean company B is a bigger or better company. You've got to look at market capitalization. A company with a high share price may be intimidating just because the number is large. Market capitalization, which is the total dollar market value of a company's outstanding shares, that's a better indication of a company's value. Take the example of two companies. The share price of company A is, let's say, $900, and there are 50 million shares outstanding. Company B trades at a more comfortable $100 per share and has 500 million shares outstanding. Which company's shares are more valuable, A or B? You know, if you want a little added fame, tweet your answer to me. My Twitter account is at Doug Goldstein. Stock prices can fluctuate not only in relation to market movements, but a company can change share prices through stock splits, reverse splits, and stock dividends. These changes can significantly impact the stock's price without actually affecting the company's underlying value and fundamentals. So, before you buy a stock, don't be either put off or encouraged by the sticker price. Look at what percent of the company a share buys. Just as you wouldn't judge a book by its cover, don't judge a stock by its share price alone. To learn more about a stock's value versus price, read my blog at www.profileperspectives.com forward slash stock dash value. Again, that's profileperspectives.com forward slash stock dash value. If you have any questions or comments about what you heard today, please feel free to get in touch with me. My email address is doug at profile-financial.com. And don't forget, before you do any investing, make sure you read our complete disclaimer at www.profile-financial.com forward slash disclaimer. <laughs>